I think I could, if you leave me alone in that mountain, I think I could make it. I think I could, I could make it. You know, we, we had a fantastic mountain guy training us. And, uh, and that was absolutely fulfilling. It was a fantastic experience, you know. Have you thought about what you want your life to be now? My man, good to see you again. How are you, my friend? Good to see you again. We were at a haunted convent in Mexico City last time we spoke. I remember how cold it was uh, in, in the rooms when we were doing the interviews. And that actually made me think about my first question for you today, sir. It had to have been brutal filming this thing. I know you shot in Canada, but the piles of snow and the outdoor elements, I see the grin on your face. Let's talk about filming in the outdoors for this movie. <laughs> Well, yeah, you're right. You know, that time in that convent, that was cold. And um, I, I, I have been under extreme temperatures and uh, for, that's, that's not an easy thing for a tropical fish. Um, and, um, but you know, when we shot the Hateful Eight, that was, that's my record, minus 17 Celsius. And, um, and then up here in the mountains of uh, Alberta in Canada, that was, but, but you see what happens is that, yes, it is very cold, but then the beauty of it, it just takes you away, you know, from, from anything else. You just forget about the, 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 the cold and you are just mesmerized by it. And, uh, and that's how it was. You see, you have to think about a kid growing up in Mexico City the only snow you see is when you buy an ice cream, you know, like a, a or a sorbet or whatever. And, uh, and, and so that to me is like, oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. That alone was a gift. You're right about Mexico City. I lived there when I was a child in middle school. The raspada, that's the only... Uh... The raspados, <laughs> exactly. That's the only block of ice you see, right? <laughs> is this a story about healing? And I'm talking about the movie Land. Yeah, absolutely, totally. Yeah, you see, we human beings, we we will go through a lot of uh, you know some uh, pain and sorrow at some point in our lives, and uh, and I have, uh, I, I I I'm sure that uh, nature has that power, you know, the power of healing, um, that type of scenery. It has healing properties, you know, whether you're standing in front of uh, that beautiful view and up in those mountains or w whenever you stand in front of an ocean, for example, uh, you know, on the beach. And then and when, when you see the, the uh, overwhelmingly beauty of uh, nature, anything, you, you know, you fix many, many things in your heart and your mind, you know. Did this movie make you an outdoorsman? Because I thought I read an article where you were actually hugging a tree when you were doing this movie. And like, I'm not an outdoorsman myself. I, I need people to help me lighting a fire and doing all that. So did this movie, this experience help you with that? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm not an outdoor person either. You know, again, growing up in Mexico City, all we do is play soccer, you know, play football in the streets. And that's pretty much that. Um, it, I, I, you see, everything I know and everything I am, it's because of my actor. My actor has taught me everything I know ever since I was a kid, you know. And uh, it's, it's on, the, on, the, on the plays you also read and, and do on the stage. Um, everything you need to know about life is right there. And um, so I have learned fantastic skills throughout my career through different characters. And now I think I could, if you leave me alone in that mountain, I think I could make it. I think I could, I could make it. You know, we, we had a fantastic mountain guy training us. And, uh, and that was absolutely fulfilling. It was a fantastic experience, you know. You learn the ins and outs of how, you know, how to hunt, although I'm not a hunter and I don't think I will ever shoot to an animal. Um, uh, how to fish, how to, you know, build uh, traps and set them up and uh, skinning deer, uh, storing, you know, it's neat in the winter and stuff and all that and uh, lighting up a fire or chopping off wood, you know, chop, chopping, chopping wood. And because there's a risk of chopping off your leg if you don't do it properly. 
And uh, so things that you, when you see them, they look so easy. And then when you try, <laughs> it's all, you know, a different story.